is up fam welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to way to serve style serving you your dose of fashion beauty and lifestyle i'm crystal waiters and girl i do all of the things i'm a stylist makeup artist model photographer simply put i'm a fashion and beauty enthusiast and if fashion and beauty is something that you love as much as i do come on and join the family we are yet we are a year in i can talk <laughs> And we still need you to make this channel grow and thrive and be what it's meant to be, which it's meant to be an inspiration for all fashion lovers, especially my tall girls out there. So do all the things, follow me on all platforms at Way to Surf Style, that's Instagram, TikTok, and my blog, waytosurfstyle.com. So we've gotten that out of the way. As you can see, I'm in a new space. I have, I finally closed on my house. So if you haven't watched last week's video, please make sure you do. It doesn't really talk about the whole housing process that I went through. Um, if you guys want a video on that, comment below and let me know. But I wanted to start a series or continue my series rather on what a tall girl wears in a week. So this will be the either the fifth or sixth episode, I can't remember, but I want to chronicle, I don't even know if that was the appropriate word for that, but I want to show you guys my outfits that I wear during the week. Um, Cause I do get dressed up, I do work from home, but I still get dressed up as if I'm going into the office. It helps my sanity. Um, Cause if I'm in lounge clothes all day, I'm not going to be productive. So I am, today is sad. Today is Friday, December 30th. So by the time you guys are seeing this, happy new year. It hasn't been, it hasn't um, hit 2023 yet, but by the time you guys see this, it will already be the new year. But I'm getting ready to head out for a day of shopping and hanging out with my favorite girl, my mom, and I wanted to show you guys my look. So comment below your favorite look from um, this episode, and let me know if you guys continue, um, would like to continue to see um, what a tall girl wears in a week episode, so. Let's get into it. Okay, so I want to give credit where credit is due. I got this idea from Odd by Monica. Um, Monica um, always took, I think that's her last name. And I just love her episodes of her OOTD episodes, uh, Style Tips with Monica. And I figured I would do this for the tall beauties. As you guys know, I stand this six feet tall, and that's without heels. But as you can see, she has a lot of shoes. Excuse the mess. <clears throat> this will be my filming, dressing room, whatever the case, so you'll see this room a lot. But for today's look, I'm doing this bodysuit and my favorite pair of jeans right now. Um, as you can see, they are super long. I got these jeans from Old Navy. Old Navy has some great, great jeans for tall beauties. Now, keep in mind, their inseams go from short, regular, long, then tall. Long is 31 in inches in terms of the inseam. Tall is 35. So make sure if you are a tall beauty, make sure you get tall, not long. And tall is usually sold only online, but very affordable. They last you for years. And yeah, this is my look. I only wear these new balances with this top. And one of the things I love about this top is hopefully you can see it. Yeah, it's cut out on in the back. For a little razzle dazzle. It is like 61 degrees today. Um, it's not really, really, really cold, but I still probably will bring a jacket. In terms of shades, hold on. Okay, in terms of shades, I'm gonna do these aviators because I wanna be chill. I'm extremely tired. If you hear me, 
like struggling to talk is because that's how tired I am. But I'm gonna do these shades. I might forego a jacket depending on how warm it is. And in terms of a bag, I think I might just do Oh, I'm gonna do this bag crossbody because we are going to be ripping and running. And then for my uh, jacket, I'll just bring my moto jacket. And yep, that's the look. Cute, casual. Um, I guess in terms of a tip, if you are five seven and above, get your jeans from Old Navy. I know stretch jeans are like supposedly out but you wear jeans that complement your body and I just love um, skinny jeans still and it's a look it's a look let me know what you guys think I actually ended up changing the bag I, I forgot I usually wear this clutch with this bag because it kind of picks up the the tan at the bottom of the shoe and yep yeah. Oh, my scent for the day is Mason Margiela Bubble Bath. Let this me my go scent for the day. When I first got this, I really, I really wasn't used to the scent because I'm more of a citrus, citrus type um, fragrance wear. But I've really grown to love this scent. It is a unique scent. Um, and as the description states, excuse my nails, y'all, <laughs> comforting, clean, accord. So, this is the scent for today. Look, let me know what you guys think. What's up, guys? Excuse me, I'm out of breath. I just ran up and down the steps. But it is December 31st, and I am preparing for New Year's Eve, the festivities for New Year's Eve. Um, which is simply me going to church. However, I'm not wearing this to church. I am taking photos in this. Um, <clears throat> I'll post the final product here, but this is a dress that I've had for about almost two years. I have not worn it out because the last two years have been, you know, yeah. <laughs> and um, this slit is like really, really high but I love it for the vibe that I'm going for tonight for my pictures. It will go very nicely with the decor, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> I will pop back on to show you what I am actually wearing to church. Hopefully the outfit will translate well in my head, um, but let me put on some earrings and take this picture real quick because of course I'm brushing. All right, bye. okay, so this is the look for tonight. This little dress from Zara I got last year. I'm glad I can still fit it. Um, it's a little shorter than what I wanted to go for church, but these tights kind of not make it so sexy, but it is New Year's Eve and it's late at night. So um, for a bag, I'm doing this Zara bag, little top handle, it's so cute. And I took the strap off to make it more evening appropriate. But this is the final look. I think for a coat, I'm probably going to do my gingham <clears throat> coat thrown over the shoulder. And in terms of shoes, I'm doing a simple pair of patent pumps. And this is a look. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. It's one year. Happy New Year's Eve. <laughs> y'all be safe. By the time y'all watching this, it'll be well into the new year. But oh, for jewelry, I'm doing these diamond earrings. For a little razzle dazzle, and this is the look. Let me know what you guys think. Bye. What's up, guys? I'm back with another <coughs> OOTD. I am headed to Sunday morning service. This is my look. Very extra. It is New Year's Day. I am doing this rouge vinyl midi dress with this belt and this quilted vinyl clutch 
and my sparkly boots. These are the Jimmy Choo dupes. I got these from Pretty Little Thing. Got the dress from uh, Fashion Nova, clutch from ASOS, and I'm doing these little Wave dupe sunglasses. Loving these. This is a lot. I love the pop collars, they chic, and I'm running late, so I have to head out. Style tip um, for tall girls, make sure <clears throat> midi dresses are very flattering on us um, because they hit right at the knee as opposed to mid thigh. So get yourself a midi dress. All right, I'm out. What's up guys? I'm back with another outfit of the day. Today is January 3rd and I am working from home. <laughs> We're back at work. And for today's look, I want it to be super comfortable, but cozy. So I did this dress, this bodycon dress, it's, it's uh, sleeveless with the matching cardigan. And I don't plan on going anywhere today, but if I did, I would style it with these boots that come right below the knee. And they have a little bit of a heel to keep it monochromatic. I love a monochromatic look. <clears throat> and to jazz it up even further, I would do my favorite pair of sunglasses. I love these shades. For a more edgier vibe and to break up the brown, I would do this red little pouch I will probably wear it not as a clutch oh no I thought it was money in this bag I will wear it as I will wear the chain out to tie in with the gold in the lenses the yellow in the lenses I'm trying to do this with one hand so bear with me Okay, <laughs> we got it. I would do this. Um, it's very comfortable, very cute. And in terms of style tips, find you some lounge pieces that can transition, that can transition you from in the house to outdoors where you don't look crazy. So this piece is fabulous. It's very comfortable, very stretchy, very warm. <clears throat> And if I wanted to go out, this would be a look. I got the boots from, I don't know, I have to link the boots below. I can't remember where I got these boots from, but I got brown. I think I got the boots from Lulu's. I got the boots from Lulu's. I got this set from Misguided. It's the Carly Bible collaboration. I got this year, uh, last year. The bag from Zara and the shades from ASOS. And yeah, this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. Good morning. It is. What is today? Today is Wednesday, January 4th. <laughs> As you can see, I am super duper casual today. Um, I wanted to stay up like I was grown and looking for furniture. I didn't get the rest that I needed, but that will change today. I will be in bed on time today because rest is important. But you guys are not here for rest. You're here for the outfit of the day. I did not feel like getting dolled up today. I wanted to be extremely comfortable. Today is going to be a productive day. And um, today's look is this window pane jumpsuit. It is very oversized, very large. It is technically culottes, but I am wearing it in the winter time. And I've added these Bottega Veneta dupe boots. And if I was going out, I would do this bag. I am wearing my glasses today because I did not feel like being bothered with my contacts. 
And if I was to do a coat, it would probably be a puffer coat, but today it's supposed to be like 68 degrees. So I probably would just do um, a leather moto jacket. But today's look is very comfortable, very cute. I, again, did not feel like getting too dolled up. I'm actually about to take these boots off and this purse off and get to work, but I wanted to show you guys a look for style tips. I wish this had pockets. I, I, I hate that this thing does not have pockets. For a style tip, you can transition your summer spring pieces into winter on warm days like this by just adding a pair of chunky boots. It edges up the look. It adds a pop of color. As you can see, the green at the bottom just adds a pop of color to the black and white. And it's very cute, very stylish, and very fun. You don't have to be boring when you work from home. And even on a day where I don't feel like doing much, where I just want to just do my work and go to bed, literally. <laughs> I'm still cute just in case I have to dart outside, which I plan not to leave this house again today. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Oh, I need to tell you guys my, my deets. So I stayed at six feet tall. My number size is a size eight i'm a true size eight in everything my shoe size is a size 10 and my letter sizing is between medium large it's actually all three small medium large it depends on the garment but those are my deets whatever is available i'll link below and that's it peace out morning today is thursday january 5th and I'm back with another OOTD in my series, What a Tall Girl Wears in a Week. And today I want it to be cute, stylish, edgy, a little sexy, because um, Thursdays are typically my days that I am amongst humans. I go out <laughs> and this is the look for today. I got on the face today, yesterday, it, I just couldn't be bothered, but um, as much of a struggle as it was to get to this face, we are here nonetheless. So today's look, I'm doing this chunky, vibrant red sweater, which it just lifted my mood as soon as I put it on with this mini skirt. Um, it has a good amount of stretch. Uh, and in terms of shoes, I want it to be a little more covered, but still, sexy <laughs> um i'm doing these thigh high boots flat boots so i can be comfortable i have gotten my cost per wear out of these boots i've worn these things into the ground <laughs> um i just absolutely love them but um in terms of styling i have my sweater tucked in just a tad in the front just so you can see my waist and it creates a smaller waistline because the sweater is so oversized well not so oversized it's bulky and a little big bigger than usual um bigger than usually what i wear and i wanted to create a waistline but i didn't really want to wear a belt so this is how i did i did a half tuck in the front and left part of it out in the back so it creates the illusion let's bring this up a little bit like this in. it creates a an illusion of a smaller waist i promise y'all i can talk <clears throat> and it just adds that extra level of edge and style and of course rolling up the f sleeves and to finish off the look one second please okay so when i actually go out to finish off the look i am going to add these colored lens sunglasses they have a red tint because i wanted to bring some more red into the outfit i didn't really want to do a red lip although i love a red lip <laughs> um 
but I love these sunglasses. I got these from Target and they are almost an exact dupe of a pair of the Wave shades. I don't know the actual name of them. And in terms of a bag, I will probably do my cloud pouch because it's simple and it picks up the leather and the boots. And my earrings are simple and when I leave out, I'll just wear my Apple Watch. But this is the final look. Hopefully you guys like it. In terms of a style tip to create to create the illusion of a smaller waist with chunkier pieces, do a half tuck. Tuck a portion of your garment, in this case your sweater, into your um, skirt or pants just a little bit and leave a portion of it out so you can just see just a small portion of your waist. And this is the look. know what you guys think um i think i gave my specs in one of these clips but i'll give them again um i'm six feet tall i wear a size eight in clothes that's my number size a true size eight uh, my letter sizing ranges from small medium large it depends on the garment <clears throat> and my shoe size is a size 10 um where did I get these pieces from? I got these boots from shopakira.com. This skirt is from Target. This sweater is from H&M. And these sunglasses are from Target as well. And the clutch is from ASOS. So, this is the look. Let me know what you guys think. Good morning, guys. Today is January 6th, it is Friday. Thank you, Jesus, what a week. And today is um, another outfit of the day, getting ready to head out. <clears throat> and today I am going back to OG way to serve style. You've been following me for years. You know I'm the queen of mixing prints and today I wanted to do a black and white moment cute, comfortable, and warm. <laughs> I'm doing this striped turtleneck with this geometric print skirt, long skirt, maxi skirts are a huge trend this season. So pull out yours. <laughs> and I wanted to pop it, but I didn't want to do a red lip. So I decided to do my vinyl <clears throat> orange trench coat. And I wanted to add elements of shine to this look to elevate it. And I'm doing my patent combat boots to tie in with the shine of the bag, this quilted bag you guys seen before, I wear this bag a lot, and the shine of the coat. And I have my trench coat tied in the back to give it some shape because I don't want it closed because I want my outfit to show. <laughs> so. Um, <clears throat> in terms of a style tip, try your hand and mix and print. I think that's bars. Um, black and white is the easiest. Um, and also leopard print. Leopard print goes with anything. Any print, any color, because they're neutrals. And elements of shine. Color, pattern, texture, and shine should be elements that you go to for your outfit. Um, one of those elements, or if not all of those elements, really make an outfit interesting and adds depth and make people say, girl, you look fabulous. So, <laughs> not saying that's the reason why we dress, but it always feels good when people are kind to you. So, <clears throat> in terms of sunglasses, when the sun comes out, I'm going back to my the way they dupe they, they are the dupe of the cloud sunglasses. And right now I'm not wearing them because there's no sun out. But that's the overall look. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, see you in the next one. Make it a great What's up, guys? I'm back with another OOTD the outfit of the day. I'm actually getting ready to go shoot this look and about five or six other looks. So be on the lookout for that if I haven't already posted. But 
Today's look, I'm doing this <clears throat> sleeveless vest um, situation. Uh, Snuffleupagus gets vibes. <laughs> Which, funny thing is, when I bought this, there was a couple... Um, and the wife was looking at it and the husband hated it. And he's like, it's giving turf or snow for love against. And I was so intrigued. I went to go see what they were looking at and it was this. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I actually love this. <laughs> but I am doing, pairing this with some straight leg leather pants and throwing a moto jacket, which you guys know, this is a wardrobe essential. I'm throwing, just doing it over the shoulder for a simple vibe. And in terms of shoes, I'm doing these wedge boots that I got from Zara. I got the boots from Zara and the top from Zara and the pants and the jacket from ASOS. And yeah, in terms of a style tip, don't be afraid of texture. Regardless of what people say or, you know, how it may look to others. If you like it, wear it. But have fun with texture. I love this. I love playing with it. It's a conversation starter. And it's in a color that is not so in your face or daring. But it is such a vibe. And I kept everything else simple but still elevated because we're doing another texture, which is leather. So... Have fun with your textures, mix your textures, and yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this look and be on the lookout for it being posted. If it is, if I've already shot this look and posted it, I'll post it right here. But this is the look, guys. Oh, let me go over where I got this. Yeah, I already did that. <laughs> Forgive me, guys. But, yes, this is the look. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to close out the video. I believe that has been either seven or eight looks. Please let me know what you guys want to see from me moving forward in the new year. And, again, Happy New Year, guys. I'm praying that you all have a prosperous, abundant, healthy, joyous, all of the great things. I pray all of it happens to you in the new year. Please let me know any video ideas that you want to see from me in 2023. I believe that's bars. And that's it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, follow me on all platforms. Do all the things, girl. Take care, guys. Be well, be safe, and be blessed. Bye.